An estimated 2.3 million Ukrainians have fled their country so far. If the Russian invasion continues, then the United Nations expect anywhere from 6 to 7 million Ukrainians will be seeking refuge in other European countries. And most of the people who have crossed the border have done so with nothing more than their documents and the clothes on their backs. All of them will need food to eat, a place to stay, and soon enough, a job to tide over the crisis. The UK-based Disaster and Emergency Committee that brings together the 15 largest British humanitarian agencies like the British Red Cross, Oxfam, Action Aid and Save the Children, etc., has said that it has been able to raise almost $200 million so far. The needs are huge, and we know this, this situation is not going to end today, tomorrow, the next week. It's going to be such a long process. Um, the, inside of Ukraine, uh, for the refugees, lives have been completely just uprooted, lives damaged and, and destroyed and, and families separated. Some of some things that we can do something about, um, working with the community, working with the families to help them reestablish themselves, um, as our members have done in other responses. But there's some things that that will take years and years to kind of rebuild and recover from this. The Disaster Emergency Committee was established in 1960. The British government has donated $25 million so far. But all of these funds are still way short of the UN estimates on the basis of the scale of the emergency. The United Nations has flashed an appeal for $1.1 billion just for the first three months of the crisis in Ukraine. While the UNHCR has demanded $550 million to address the refugee crisis sparked by this war. Everyone, including celebrities, are chipping in with the humanitarian effort. Ukrainian-born identical twin pop artist Bloom Twins Anna and Sonia organized a fundraising concert at London's Roundhouse. We're definitely educating people because if people think that the war is only in Ukraine, but actually it's everywhere. So we need to stop and we need to do everything we can to stop it because it's going to go into Europe and we're all actually involved. And that's something we're going to educate people on. We are the world. We should all come together and together we are powerful. The dream we dream alone is only a dream, but dream we dream together is a reality. The Bloom Twins performed alongside other big names such as Jack Garrett, Chrissy Hind and Bob Goldoff. But their work isn't just limited to raising funds. They are also actively involved in the logistics of providing aid, like getting supplies of food, medicines and clothes to people who have been uprooted from their homes. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.